Hi YouTube, uh, I'm going to be here real quick with a quick truck update. Um, first thing you're going to be able to see, or maybe if you compare it to the old videos, the truck's got a new coat of paint on it. Um, all the old, all in the old videos you can see on the truck that the paint, yes it's all black, but it's not a very consistent black. Uh, some parts are faded, some parts aren't, some parts are completely different kind of paint. And it really didn't look that good. So I ended up just uh, deciding to paint the whole thing. It cost me about 15 bucks. I ended up just going down to Rural King, getting uh, two cans of tractor paint. Uh, it's uh, extra oil based enamel paint, got it in matte black. Can and a half got me for pretty much the entire truck. So, uh, yeah. See here, um, if you look closely, there's a uh, a lot of orange peel going on in the paint that's mostly just because I haven't I didn't sand down between coats I just brush rolled it on um, if you want to get super clean smooth like polishable glossy paint on a vehicle just with rolling it on it's not so much about the paint that you buy or how you brush it on but more about the sanding that you do in between but uh, I don't really mind this orange peel I like the look of the truck a lot, and I think that the orange peel here actually kind of reminds me of a uh, truck bed liner when they do that to a whole truck. So I really don't mind it. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm um, coming in, you'll see it's kind of a mess still. Got wires everywhere. I'm actually going to take that down for the sake of I'm about to show you. Now, basically, what you'll see here. Um, I had a problem with my radio. It would, uh, because I ran this power wire straight to the battery because none of the wires in the back were working. And it runs everything, but the problem is that it creates a uh, phantom draw on the battery. So if I leave it parked for three or four weeks at a time, which I do regularly because I'm at college and I can't come back every weekend to drive the truck or anything, it'll actually drain the battery and kill it uh, slowly over time. And you can recharge it, but eventually it creates a bad cell in the battery and you got to get a new one. And it's just, it's not good. So what I did was I ran a toggle switch in between this power line to the rest of the accessories. So now, it's in the off position. I flick it on, and everything comes on. My uh, CB will come on, the radio will come on. But then, if I turn it off, it stays off. So all of my accessories are run off of that. I do eventually plan on uh, filling this space here. Um, this was originally the switch for the gas tank selector. There is no longer a tank on the uh, passenger side. I've only got the driver's side tank. What I do plan on doing is I plan on putting another switch there, which will eventually control off-road lights that I plan on putting on the roll bar. Um, so hopefully I'll also be able to run that through the cutoff so I'll be able to have all of those accessories that could possibly drain anything shut off and it would be and it'd also fill that hole in there and it'd probably look pretty good. So um if you come out and look at the roll bars I'm thinking about putting one on each side up there and then having that middle spot, either fabricating a uh, GoPro mount to put up there might get me some uh, pretty cool foot excuse me, pretty cool footage, or using that as a CB mount. I hesitate for using the CB antenna there, simply because it would be really, really, really tall. Probably would get hit on all sorts of drive throughs and everything. So yeah, pretty much the only other thing I'm thinking about is uh, swapping out these 31s. Our old, bald, crappy, don't like them. I'm kicking around getting some 33s or some 35s. I'm leaning towards the 35s because they'll look so much better. And, uh, See how they go. I got two different options for getting them. I got a buddy that actually can get me some uh, actual tire store prices. What they pay for them, I can get them for that. So I can get some uh, 35s between 150 and 175 brand new tires. And I'm thinking about getting that for the actual tires because it's just a really good deal. But there's also a place down in uh, Alton in Granite City. It's called Cheapies Tires. The name sounds kind of sketchy, but they're actually a really reputable business. They do a lot of business in the area. So if you're in the uh, Southern Illinois, Missouri area, you should go check them out. Um, they've got some wheels that I'm looking at getting for the new tires, whether I actually get the tires from them or not. But they do have tires in that size range. So I'm actually thinking about getting some from them. So uh, that's pretty much where I'm at with the truck. 
Um, thank you guys for all your comments, view, support, uh, like, subscribe, do what you got to do. I'll see you all in the next one.